HEPA stands for a high efficiency particulate air. So essentially saying that this is a designation to a type of filter that's able to remove a wide range of size of particulates. Um, and it is a special designation. The high efficiency refers to the fact that it can go, uh, it can remove very small particles as, as well as larger particles. Um, and it's a designation that um, uh, has standards. Uh, and these standards are slightly different by jurisdiction, but we'll talk about the North American standards. But there are standards in North America that designate or define what HEPA stands for and what HEPA should be able to do, what its performance standard should be. Uh, and the, the, the simple words that are used all the time, which have a lot of science behind them, behind them and can be interpreted in a whole bunch of ways, but I'll, I'll repeat those. Um, in order to have a HEPA designation, a filter must be able to remove 99.97% of particles that are 0.3 microns in size. Those are very specific numbers. Um, so let's talk about the first one. Now, what does 99.97 mean? It means that if there are 10,000 particles, three of them will get through. The other 9,997 will not. So it's very effective. Um, and then what does 0.3 microns mean? And why is that important? So first, let's say, what does 0.3 microns even mean? So let, let's let's take things that we know. Like let's take a, a grain of sand. A grain of fine grain of sand from a nice beach is something like 90 microns. 90. Um, let's get closer to home. Take a red blood cell. Now none of us have actually held a red blood cell in our hands, but just to get a sense, one red blood cell um, is seven microns in size. So 0.3 microns is a very very small particle. And the reason why they use 0.3 microns to, um, to define the efficacy or the efficiency of um, a filter is that science has found through their research that that particular size is perhaps the most penetrating uh, size of all sizes. Meaning if particles are smaller than 0.3 microns or they're bigger than 0.3 microns, they tend to get stuck in the filter much better than one that is 0.3 microns in size. So that's considered to be the weak spot. So if we're able to get a 99.9% .9 efficacy in stopping um, particles that are the weak spot, the hardest to remove, then you've got a filter that works really well. And that's, that's what HEPA really is telling you, is that the, uh, if a filter is designated as HEPA, it can remove almost all particles that we know. When considering HEPA filtration, it's important to understand um, the difference between a HEPA filter and a HEPA vacuum. Um, any filter that's built with HEPA material uh, would be considered to be a HEPA filter. However, how it fits into the system is going to define whether or not that system can be considered to be a system that, that provides HEPA filtration. Uh, and, and the reason why that is important to consider is there are two things that will make the system effective as a HEPA filter, as a system. The first is that all the air that's passing through that system, and let's, let's say vacuum cleaner because that's it's easier to talk about. Let's say the vacuum, all the air passing through the vacuum cleaner has to pass through the HEPA filter in order for that system to be considered uh, to be a HEPA filtration system. But secondly, and as we can imagine, every time you are passing air pressurized through a vessel, there will be leakage. And depending on the extent of that leakage, uh, if, it's, if it leaks a lot, then you've essentially, the HEPA filter is really not doing anything for you because that system is failing um, as a HEPA filtration system. However, if the HEPA filter is having all the air flow through it and it's a well-sealed system, then you will have a HEPA filtration system. And that's the key difference. There's lots of HEPA filters out there, but there are not as many HEPA, uh, true HEPA filtration systems. And, and that's the key difference between the filter and the vacuum. A HEPA filter uh, or a HEPA filtered vacuum 
um, system is important for uh, a, a couple of reasons. Uh, I think the, in, a, in a household type or residential type environment, the biggest benefit of using a HEPA filter is that the air that you're uh, passing through your vacuum cleaner is cleaned and therefore healthier for us to breathe. Um, and that's particularly of concern to people who might be suffering from allergies or asthma uh, because the, the elements that trigger those allergies and um, that asthma are contained within the HEPA filter. Things like mold and dust and pollen, um, even uh, bacteria, pet dander, all that stuff is, is held back through the filter and therefore effectively you have a cleaner home. It's like an air purifier. Right? It's just you're, you're cleaning and purifying the air at the same time. Um, but in a commercial setting, it's also important because certain types of work require um, clean air. And for example, if you're working in a lab um, where they're dealing with sensitive materials or you're working in a, a microchip production facility or some kinds of food production or in biomedical facilities uh, where the air quality is important, uh, so that it doesn't contaminate or disrupt the research uh, that may be being done there or the production of the materials that, that require um, uh, certain levels of cleanliness and hygiene. So that's another reason why uh, you want to use a, um, a vacuum with a HEPA filter. So when, when you're looking at HEPA filtration, um, uh, it's important to note that um, there are perhaps two things that define a HEPA filter. I'm not talking about the system, I'm just talking about the filter. One is the size and the second is the media. And the media, as long as the manufacturer who's providing the media or who's making the filter is using material that is um, uh, HEPA certified, uh, and typically manufacturers will buy materials that are HEPA certified in order to make HEPA filters, then it doesn't really matter what size the filter is, the effectiveness of the media will be the same. As long as, again, the two things we said before is that all the air is passing through it and B, the system has no leaks in it. Then, essentially, whether it's a small filter or a big filter, you're going to have the same efficacy. However, the big difference comes in the size of, of the HEPA filter. Um, and that, that is really what differentiates one filter from another. So take, a, for example, a filter of this size. So this is a HEPA filter, uh, but it's a, a small filter. And when you look at the uh, quantity of uh, media used in this, it may be close to like 20 square inches, which is not bad. Um, however, when you look at um, uh, a, a filter like this, which is also a HEPA filter, this one has something like 400 square inches. So 20 square inches versus 400 square inches of media. What that means is that not only will the filter last you longer, but it'll take longer for the filter to get clogged up. Uh, and when the filter gets clogged up, it, it, it compromises the performance of the vacuum cleaner. So smaller filters need more frequent attention, uh, need to be changed more often and may cost you more. Whereas bigger filters will last you longer uh, and will keep the um, efficacy or the effectiveness of the suction on the vacuum cleaner um, at, at a high level for longer, right? Uh, so that's the, the primary difference. Uh, let me also point out while we're looking at this, I mean, these two filters look identical. Uh, and it's very important to, to really understand that uh, HEPA has become a buzzword in the marketplace today. Everyone's talking about HEPA uh, or HEPA-like or uh, almost HEPA or HEPA-type and one has to be particularly careful to insist on making sure that the media that's being used is true HEPA. This one looks just like the other one. Obviously this one is a different color but they look exactly the same. They've got the same kind of pleating in them but this one's not a HEPA filter. This is a micron filter. It's a very good filter but it's not a HEPA filter. This, on the other hand, is a HEPA filter and therefore is also more expensive, almost twice the price um, of a regular a micron filter. I think when, when selecting a, a HEPA vacuum, um, the most important thing for you to first define is what you need it for. Um, and if uh, the, the need that you have is mission critical, i.e. that the cleanliness of the air is critical to the mission of the place you're cleaning, then you would want to go for the, the highest end um, certified HEPA vacuum cleaner you can find that's appropriate for the size of space that you're working with. 
On the other hand, if it's not as mission critical, uh, one can use um, a good vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter on it, and you will have um, the effectiveness of a HEPA filter. Uh, it may not be certified, so it may not be to the same level, but it'll be close, as long as the vacuum cleaner itself is powerful and, and uh, well built. Um, now, why is this important to consider? Say, let's say you generally like clean air, and you could get a vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter, and it should generally do the trick. Uh, however, let's say you have got uh, people in your household that are uh, highly allergic or suffer uh, from severe asthma, then it would be worthwhile investing in a machine that is a certified HEPA machine. Similarly, in the commercial setting, if you are cleaning spaces that require clean air, because let's say it's a lab that uh, has cultures of bacteria and that are open that cannot have or afford to have uh, particles in the air that can contaminate the work, then it's important for you to get a certified HEPA vacuum cleaner. Having said that, uh, if you have a vacuum cleaner that you like, that your favorite vacuum cleaner, which has HEPA filtration, it's very possible for you to get that, um, that vacuum cleaner certified. Uh, in fact, we have customers who buy our or HEPA vacuums and have them certified uh, for use in their labs. And, and that's another way to do the same thing. Certification might cost you 50 to 100 bucks per machine, uh, but for most people it's, it's worthwhile and gives them the peace of mind that they're working with a machine that's giving them true HEPA filtration.